everyone. Oh, that was a bit high pitched. Hope you're all well. Um, I wanted to show you something. So, those of you who follow me on um, Twitter and maybe Instagram, I'm not sure, will um, hang on. Just check I'm not covering up the microphone. <laughs> um, will know how much I like having my nails done. However, during lockdown. I, a lot of the time, had very naked nails, as I call them, which were just vile and horrible. And I decided after my last video where they were just disgusting, I needed to change that and I needed to dress them. So, I have dressed my nails. They are in their glad rags and I'm going to show you them. And I'm going to show you how, if you're someone like me who doesn't really want to or can't really afford to be spending lots of money and having them done properly at the nail bar or whatever. A very quick and, well, relatively quick and cheap, easy way to do them. Ooh, focus. Yep. So that's what they look like. Uh, this is probably a better angle actually because it doesn't show my horrible old lady skin hands. Um, yeah, so they're literally just like stick on ones which I know probably isn't for everybody they don't last forever obviously they last for about I think I used to get about two weeks wear out of them but obviously with having to wash hands so much more at the moment they probably won't last maybe they'll probably maybe last a week so I'm going to show you what exactly which ones they are um, so if you do want to get some you can do because they sell them in boots, they sell them in Superdrug, they sell them in Asda. Um, I think they're about £8 a packet. You usually get two sets of nails in each one. So it's not bad really. So I'm going to go and find them and then you can have a look. Hello, it is now the day after. I can't actually remember what day it is and what day yesterday was. <laughs> um, but I suddenly remembered. Um, I hadn't actually shown you what nails um, they are that I was telling you about because the battery on the camera ran out. So I had to stop, but, ooh. Um, so the ones, the nails that I use are these, oh dear, impress, and there you go, they come with, they have um, little sticky tabs on the back, let me just put you down, oh dear, and you can see I've got my house trousers on again, <laughs> um, I'm just going to get these out to show you, if I can, I can't do it with my, uh, I can't do it with these nails on. It's too hard. So let me find one. So this is one. So you can see, I don't know if it'll focus. That's the plastic tab bit there on the back. And you pe literally peel it off and then stick it down. Easy peasy. Let me squeezy. The only thing is with me, because I've got such tiny nails, I have to spend ages filing them to fit. But it's worth it. We're fast forwarding now to the afternoon. Um, I'm in like a time machine. <laughs> Not really. Um, and I decided I would just quickly show you what I'm going to make for our tea today because in my last vlog, do you remember I was saying that I just didn't have any inspiration for meals when I'd done my, um, just before I'd done the shopping list. That's the one. So I thought I, oh dear, I disappeared. I thought I would just show you what I've gone for. So I had to make sure I had um, put the ingredients down on the shopping list. And today's tea, I'm going to make, it's chicken and parsley casserole. I'll show you the recipe. So it's in, don't worry, the cooker isn't on. It's in this book, which I have had since we got married. <laughs> 20 years old. So I'm doing this one here. So it's the chicken and parsley casserole. I'm um, omitting the parsley because it's a bit pointless. So you can see it's so super easy to do um, and it takes an hour and three quarters. So I'm going to do that today. So I've got my chicken out, got my mushrooms out, need to get my bacon, chop my onions and um, get on with it. Right, so I hope you can see me alright. I'm just about to cut 
or chop another onion because you have to put two onions in. I've done one. I'm having to wear my Day Medna. Oh, can't get the one. Oh, we go. Day Medna onion glasses. I don't know where to put you so that you can actually see. Uh, hang on. I'm resting you on the pasta tub as well. <laughs> Let's see if that's any better. Um, maybe. Mm. I've got my ingredients done now, so I thought I'd just quickly run through and show you what it is or what they are. So. You will need, if you're going to have a go at making this, you need um, the chicken breasts, they're all the manky bits I've cut off, I've got four there, you need uh, two large onions, you need, um, how much bacon, 100 grams of bacon, 50 grams of butter, uh, 100 grams of sliced mushrooms, 50 grams of flour, one pint of milk, and then mixed herbs, one stock cube, and then salt and pepper for seasoning. I'm going to um, have a go at making this. I don't think I will bother actually the whole process of making it. I might put bits in, who knows. I'm very random. Um, but I will show you um, how it looks once it's in the casserole dish to go in the oven. Right, so I've just done the first um, stage of the recipe which is to fry off the... I'll show you actually. So it's to fry off the chicken pieces just till they're golden brown and then I am going to put them into the casserole dish. So the next thing I want to do now is I've got to add the onions and the bacon into the frying pan and cut those till they're golden and then pop them in there. So I shall do that now. So I'm trying to get out of the shadow. So now onions and bacon are in over the um, chicken. Chicken. The next bit is two. So with the rest of the butter, I have to melt the butter and then stir in the flour, cook for one minute, and then gradually blend in the milk. So I guess it's just like making a white sauce. So the white sauce, it worked, it's in. Um, so now that has to go into the oven for um, oops, an hour at 170 degrees and then take it out, add the mushrooms and it has to be, has to go in for another 30 minutes. And just look at the mess I have made. What a state. And here is the finished result. It doesn't look very appetising <laughs> but I will um, tell you what it's like. It's safe to say that tea was a huge success. It was so scrumdiddly umptious. The only thing I will say is, as I thought, making the white sauce with flour isn't how I normally make it. I normally do it with corn flour. And making it the way that I did, it ended up a bit lumpy. Still tasted nice though. Um, so yeah, all done. There's a bit left over. It doesn't look, I'll show you, it doesn't look very, um, Sorry for the state of the oven gloves, I need some new ones. Doesn't look very appetising, I know. But that's just because of the colour of the sauce. So if any of you do want to have a go at making it, um, I will try and remember to include the recipe um, in the description box. Um, but the name of the book, like I told you, and the front cover of it is a mess because I've used it so much, is this one. The Dairy Cook book. So... If you want to buy it, I think it's still sold, I don't know. But yes, it's worth trying this recipe though because it's, it's super easy and super tasty. Good morning everyone, so it's the end of the week, we're on Friday. Although, every day is the same, oh hang on, I'm covering up. I keep doing that at the moment, I keep covering up the microphone. Uh, yeah, what was I saying, so we're on Friday. Although every day is quite the same for me. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed um, this vlog. I know it's been not been a great deal. It's been more spells like a cooking one really, hasn't it? With that chicken casserole, chicken and parsley casserole that wasn't with parsley because we don't like it so it was just chicken. Um, 
so yeah thank you for watching it and whilst I'm thanking you I also want to say thank you so much to all of you who watched my last vlog that one seemed to go down really really well and I was so chuffed and very very pleasantly surprised um, yesterday when I noticed how many of you actually been interested in it so thank you although it was probably more to do with the fact that you've got David Beckham's autograph and Jeremy Brett's and other Sherlock Holmes characters and Wayne Sleep nothing to do with me um, so yeah thank you and then before I go I just wanted to show you we've got a massive bag of apples that one of our neighbours has brought us and I can't open the bag so I might have to put you down because um, she tell you what I'll bend down although bending down is not good for my um, arthritic knees but that's a different story so yeah she has a tr an apple tree in her garden oh she's tied this bag well and she asked if we wanted some apples I thought she meant a few not a whole bag full <laughs> so I don't actually need to buy any apples now for a good long while I don't think um, so yeah there's quite a good selection I don't know what sort they are, Bramley ones who knows, I don't know so uh, yeah that's a lot of apples to keep us oh, busy oh and by the way Smells best to show you, seeing as you've seen it. Do you like my uh, lumberjack shirt? My son, I can guarantee, will come home from school and he'll just say to me, Mum, seriously. But hey, oh, did it again. This is one I've had. It's from River Island. And I've had it now for years. Like, probably 10 or 11 years. <laughs> And I don't often wear it, and I suddenly spotted it in my wardrobe this morning, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to wear it. So, that is what I have done. Right, I am going. I hope you have all had a wonderful week, because by the time you see this, the week will have gone. And I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now. Bye.